All right, what's going on guys? We are back out here on the Kill Van Cole. I uh, had a couple of bloodworms left over in my fridge for my last trip that we're gonna dive in and use them, so here I am. All right, we're gonna cast them out, uh, going for any kind of bottom fish that are out here. Last time we got some small stripers. Would like to get some different species as well. Uh, it's about 8.30 right now, it's in the 20s. High tide was at eight, 8 o'clock, so it's still pretty high right now. Should start moving here in the next hour or so. So hopefully get into uh, some fish here today. All right, so we've got our high-low rig, two-ounce sinkers because this is a lighter ride, small piece of bloodworm on this hook, and then up here we have a, another piece of bloodworm. So we'll cast this thing out. It is high tide right now, or actually probably about 20 minutes ago, so I should get a good couple hours here of high water before the current starts ripping on the way out. So we'll cast, we'll let it sit, and hope we get a fish. I think we just had a hit on this. I don't think anything's on it though. <sighs> just like last time, a lot of small hits, but unable to hook up with anything. Yeah, the worms have been messed with, but there is nothing on them. Another hit on the little rod almost as soon as I cast it out, and now we got a fish on. She not that small either. Probably a schooly striper. Yeah, not too bad. Little striper. Oh, come on up here. All right, little striper, probably the biggest one I caught this year, which isn't saying much, but all the big ones have gone south of the winter, so just these little guys. That's all that left. That's all that's left up here, but nice fish. I like stripers a lot. We'll let it go. Hopefully it can grow up and be a little bit bigger. All right, one fish down. Get this thing back on out there. And let's get a couple more. Unfortunately, I'm not hooking up with really any of them. Uh, whatever was on this is probably gone. Uh, feels a little heavier, but probably. Oh, what is this? Oh! Oh, is this a little winter flounder? That thing is tiny, but if it is, that's my first ever winter flounder. Let's take a look at this guy. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a winter flounder. My first one I've ever caught. I've actually wanted to catch one of these for years. I just didn't really know how to target them. I didn't even know if they were up here in this body of water, but this is an awesome little catch. But no wonder I couldn't hook up with these fish. If this is what they are, if they're that small, that's why I can't really hook up with them. But that is a really cool catch. I'm happy with that one. Go ahead and check the bait here. It's been quiet for probably over an hour now since I caught that winter flounder. But I guess that's winter fishing. I might have just missed a hit, so always good to check the bait. The sun came out, so it's a little bit warmer. Blood worms are still there. I'll probably give it another hour or so. And then if I get nothing else, we'll call it a day here. It's about 
much. I was definitely caught that uh, little tiny winter flounder. I am basically out of bait, so I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, a lot of really, really small hits. Unfortunately, I couldn't hook up with them, so I don't know if they were small stripers, uh, bergals, or the winter flounder, I don't know. But two little fish, like I said way in the beginning, winter fishing is tough. Uh, all the big fish and most fish have either moved south or moved offshore, so here in the back bays there's not too much action going on. I'm happy to get that one winter flounder, my first one ever. So that is always good to add a new fish to the life list. And that striper wasn't too bad either. So hope you guys liked it and I will see you next time.